Hi students, today we will learn about information assurance. What is the information assurance and why it is very important in cyber space or in the cyber security that we will learn today. See here information assurance is a what? Information assurance is a management and the protection of a knowledge information and data. This mainly depends on these five things. Which are the five things? See here. Availability, integrity, authentication, confidentiality and non-repudiation. Information, whenever we are sharing information, whenever we are searching online some information, that information should be available and that should be confidential these things are very important we will see more about this now see as i said availability of information refers to ensuring that, that authorized parties are able to access the information when they need same way if you want money from atm that atm is not working that's not good that should be available 24 by 7 atm should be available 24 by 7 if any hospital is running if any emergency there if you go there doctors should treat that patient that hospital should be available 24 by 7 that is about availability of information in the same way in a cyber space information should be available at any time that information should be available at any time next we will see Here, first point we can see that is what server down. Sometimes, what happens? We are searching for any connection or any information that server is down, or sometimes we get a message on the screen that is what uh, please try, please try after some time. That is also not good. Sometimes we hear that message system, our systems are down. Are we need it? We need that information, and your system is down. That is not good. Many times we see this message. Oh, sorry, something went wrong. Yes, Facebook is telling you in this way. Something went wrong. That server is not working well, or that server is crashed. A dump, we can see. Some bank messages are like this. We are temporarily unable to process your request or sometime this message also will get uh, that is what a uh, gateway timeout whenever we do a transaction online fund transfer or any other thing atm a uh, purchasing using a atm card that time we used to get uh, this type of message what is that a gateway timeout so what it means gateway timeout means Whenever you are started transaction online, a certain seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or 180 seconds, that is for 3 minutes. Some seconds or some minutes are given. Within that limit, that transaction should be completed. If your fund is transferred to that account, that account should acknowledge this account that I have received a fund. This way that transaction should be completed. If anything happens in between, if that server is not responding or this receiver server is not responding, in between that connection is broken, that time we can have a message that is what a gateway timeout. Next we will see.
Now we'll see about the data consistency. Data consistency means a process of keeping information uniform as it moves across network or applications. Across network or application, this is very important. Whenever sender sends, sender means suppose I am sending a message or a mail to someone, I will be a sender. And to whom I am sending a message, that person will be a receiver. Sender sending a message and receiver receiving a message, this connection is will be established. That connection should be uniform apart from different different networks. Means what? Suppose the sender is sending from America and receiver is sitting in Australia. Many different connections, different different networks, different different companies in between that may be available. So, among these many networks, if any network is not working good or their server is down, that time problem will come. So, data consistency problem will be. So what is the requirement? Data consistency should be there. That is what if any connection, connection is established that connections strength signals should be good so that that information will be uniform. We will see next. Yes, this is one more important aspect of information assurance. That is what? Confidentiality. This refers to information from being accessed by unauthorized parties. In other words, only the people who are authorized to do so can gain access to sensitive data. Means what? Unauthorized persons should not access any sensitive data of any company or any store. If that unauthorized person accessed or is having a, that sensitive data, that company or that school or any other thing will face a problem because that unauthorized parties are accessing the data. They can leak that information, sensitive information over social media or they can use that sensitive information for their purpose. Authentication. A common example is a, entering a username and a password. Entering a username and a password. When you log into a website, not only to your website, whenever you are using a mobile, there we are keeping a fingerprint lock, pattern lock, pin number. Then for our laptop or our desktop, or if you are entering into a bank lockers room, there also authentication will be there. If you are entering into any research lab main room, there also authentication should be followed. Means what? Unauthorized person should not enter into that room in the same way. Unauthorized person should not open or see any file from our computer or a laptop. That is what authentication should be done before doing login. And everyone, don't forget to subscribe our channel. If you like our video, don't forget to hit like button. Now we'll see about a non-repudiation. It's a legal concept that is widely used for information security. This is water. This is a legal concept. How this is legal? How this works? I will give one example. This 
is a proof of origin of a data no repetition is a proof of a origin of a data origin of a data means what as i said suppose one person that is sender is sending a messages from one company and he is sending a one message to a person who is not authorized to that company for his personal reason he is sending some messages illegally he is sending messages to that person receive receiver will receive that sensitive information and he wants to use that information for his purpose means what he may leak that information for social media or he can use that information for each benefits later on what will happen if that company whichever company has lost this information sensitive information that company can hire some ethical hackers some intellectual people computer experts it can hire and if inquiry is done that time who has sent that information what time that Uh, information is sent, and from which company or from which laptop, which mobile that information, that mail, that messages, that files are transferred to that person. Everything can be everything. Whatever you are going to do online, that can be recorded. That is recorded. You can be caught. no one can accept from this crime online crime no one can accept so lastly we will see about the integrity of a data that integrity involves maintaining the consistency and trustworthiness of a data over its entire life cycle means what data transfer has a life cycle sender and receiver sender is sending a messages to a receiver if it breaks in between that is what that information is lost whatever 100% data i sent that is not reached 80% 99% or 95% data on the gone there something is missing that is what the data loss and consistency is not there and trustworthiness means what trustworthiness whatever data i sent without any leakage without any leakage without losing any data that is when that receiver has received that full information that is what the integrity lastly thank you students for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to comment whatever your questions you can comment in comment section